Wow. Amanda. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, just have a seat. You're welcome. What, what do I offer you? Mm, nothing at all. I'm all right. To my Amanda, well, it's, it's, it's fine. I won't put you further, because I know you will not agree. I'm all right, trust me. Fine. Amanda. Okay, so. So, how have you been? I've been alright. I've been fine. Thank you. Amanda. I want you to relax. Calm your nerves. Okay? Look, I don't know what your decision would be. But whatever it is, I promise I will not be upset. Okay. Okay, Chuku. You've been so kind to me ever since I met you. You have accorded me respect. Respect that I didn't deserve. I like you so much as a friend. Trust me when I say that. I like you so, so much. But can't you see the gap? The gap is way too much. And in another life, in another world, I would gladly accept your proposal with good hands. In all honesty, but in this life, my dear, we are worlds apart. You... You met me. You met me as a prostitute. A low-life prostitute, for that matter. And that would always ring a bell whether we like it or not. Even if we try so hard not to allow it come, it will always come. I know it will be a problem between us if we ever have a thing. I've really sat down to think about this. That is why I've come to tell you. You don't see me as an ingrate. I want you to understand. Understand me from where I'm coming from. I like you a lot. Trust me, but... I cannot accept your proposal. I can't accept it. I can't date you. I'm sorry. We are worlds apart, but I know what I'm feeling deep inside for I'm sorry. I don't care what you are, I don't care what Amanda. I just want love to begin. I would say that. Meeting you was a pleasant coincidence. What I feel for you and what I've asked of you is my deliberate heart desire. I have thought about all of these things. I have thought about what people are going to say. I have thought about the society. But I've come to tell myself, I've come to ask myself, and I'm sure this is what I want. I don't care. I don't care what your life has been like before now. I don't give a damn. What counts is what I feel for you. What counts is, are you ready to make that positive change? I know how I met you. And I know who you have been since then. You, you've been stalking me? Well, I don't know if you're going to call that stalking, but the 
truth is that I I have been to that spot I met you when you stopped picking my calls so I was told you rarely come for business but whatever uh, really Amanda Amanda can't you see it in my eyes I love you I don't care. I don't care what you've been through. What counts is since I met you. What counts is are you ready to make that positive change and don't go back on it? Who you wear is immaterial to me. I love you. Can you stop thinking like that? If I tell you I have been discouraged by friends, they've tried to talk me into staying away from you, but the more they try to do that, the more I love you more. This is a decision I've made to myself. I'm not surprised you're thinking like that, but I'm telling you, I am telling you I really don't care. I don't care. Now tell me. Don't you feel anything for me? <laughs> I, I do, I do, I do, I do feel something for you, but. I'm still wondering why you rushed to wear your clothes. I don't even know. Okay. What now? We are officially lovers. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure you're not carried away by your emotions? What is really going on in your head? True love flows from the heart and not the head. When the love is genuine, the head has little work to do. A wise lady once told me that. Yes. But, what if the head becomes very active? What if your friends and family finds out about me? <sighs> My family and friends, I... I'm old enough to make my own decisions. I am old enough to call the shot I want. What counts is the love we have for each other. What counts is the ability to stand together to fight any storm that may come our way. Of course I know, I know people will talk, families will talk, enemies will fight, but the ability to stand together without minding. I love you. That is what matters. I don't care about your past. I don't care what you've been through. I have been through things too. Your words suits my soul. Like the cool breeze of the night. I know we may not have met in an ideal place. But I promise you something. I will be that your ideal woman. That kind of woman you've always wanted. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Okichibu, for loving me against all odds. I love you too. Thank you too for loving me. Last item you brought, I stay here, and now you're here again. Mm -hmm. May God bless you more for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Please manage me the way I am. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. The children are here to pray for the visitors. Oh, that would be nice. Let's go for the prayers. The children are with you. Oh. Thank you. Oh, 
Stop it! What are you saying? Baby, you're not serious, are you? I mean, do people still do this in this 21st century? Of course. It doesn't happen only in movies. It happens in real life as well. Are you see. As I talk to you now, the girl is still in the guy's house. This is really funny. Mm -hmm. What is he going to do now? No leave, no transfer. <sighs> well, I don't blame her anyways. She wants a good life, I guess. I mean, who no like that that's it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, obviously, the girl has seen that the guy is doing so well, so she doesn't want to leave. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Especially when, you know, you have so much. <laughs> sorry. So when you have, like, lots of money going, oh, sorry, my brother. Hello? What's up? Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. That, that, that's fine. When? Okay, 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 no problems. I'll be expecting you then. Okay, bye. My brother. The one you told me about? Yes, he said he's coming back next week. Whoa. Is he done with his mission abroad? Oh yes, uh, not really. There's a new project that he's coming back for. Then when he's done, he will go back. Is he going to be staying for long? No, I think one or two weeks. I just hope he likes me. Of course, he doesn't have a choice. Hmm? He has to like my baby. Really? Hmm? And besides, he won't be staying here with us. He will just come visit and you know, go back to our parents. He likes staying there each time he's back. Yeah. <laughs> you give me joy. Yeah, I give you joy. You give me happiness as well. Give me joy, joy, joy. <laughs> In my heart, Stop. you see. Come here, come here, come here. Stop. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> So what next? I mean, what do you intend to achieve with all of this? One step at a time. This is early days and I think um, we are having a good ride so far. You really amuse me, okay? I swear you do. I mean, you know up till now I've not really come to terms with the reason behind all this shenanigan. Come on, boy. What are you playing at? Shenanigan. Is that what you think of this? I mean, tell me. How else would I explain the fact that the managing director of melting oil and gas is crazily in love with an ex-sex worker and begging for her love? I mean, can you explain that to me? Well, if you must know, I'm being honest here, you're my, you're my boon companion, right? I love Chima Amanda, 100%. And she loves me too. Man, count me out. Count me out on this, in case anything goes wrong. Uh, Greg. As expected, I don't need anyone's validation. Before now, I think I know this whole thing is gonna be like this. Chima Amanda being a sex worker doesn't make her less of human. I don't know how you people judge things. I love her, that is what counts, and she loves me too. Besides, we all have our pasts, don't we? Okay, Chuku. Don't you think you're playing with fire? 
Okay, tell me. How long do you expect to drag this? One month? Two months? Okay, let me remind you in case you have forgotten. You once dated a pastor's daughter, am I correct? And I could remember vividly that you tagged that relationship the worst relationship you have ever been in. Whatever. <laughs> I can remember how you talked about her. She's an angel, she's this, she's that. What happened? You went to her phone and you saw loads of test messages from different men. Pastor's daughter. You're trying to justify your actions, right? I'm not trying to justify any actions here. I'm just trying to remind you what happened. <laughs> Do you ever believe that pastor's daughter could be like that to you? It's a clear lesson. I'm just trying to tell you, you don't judge a book by its cover. You don't do that. You know what? Fly your kite. <laughs> well, it's, it is what it is, really. Fly your kite. So you don't, you don't judge people like that, really. Stephanie. <laughs> Greg, my homeboy. Like my friend would say, Seteri is very boots. You oh, know? All things be All things be <laughs> All these tiny, Chinese fade away. Ah, madam. Have you seen Ure? Again. I don't see her Okay, I've been saying, I mean, say you won't go get something. I don't know where go. And she didn't tell you where she was going? No, she don't talk. Oh. That's really unlike her. Madam, that one no be, you know, be like Ogamoto. Go check who that is. Hurry. This? Nah, me, hey, it's okay. Me, it's me. See, see us with the shine, like Auntie's bread. <laughs> see us, people saying you're all going to talk about it. You've not changed though. <laughs> you're still cracking me up. Eh? You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Is your is your guy in? Uh, he never come back. He never he never come back. If you the office or anywhere, I don't know. Hi. Hold okay, on. I will get for you. I just hold on. Hi. See your boots. Hello. Hi. Yes. Okay, you're at the office. I'll I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right. Okay, my open gate. Uh, no, no, no. There won't be need for that. Uh, I'll, I'll come back later. Okay. 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 Hi. Okay. So you buy take, something for me? Of course. Of course. Just take care of yourself. Gate for him. He can say he can answer one call. Come come out. Say he come back later. He didn't come. He didn't want to come inside. No no. Hi. Why did he come before the weekend? And then he got here. He didn't. He didn't want to come inside. I don't know why you're. Sorry, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. Um, that's fine. 
If Uri comes back, make sure she sees me, okay? supposed to be next week but plans changed you know my foreign contractors wanted me to sign some contracts you know so I had to come back because they refused our team over here signing this contract they, they needed me to do it myself so here am I yes, <laughs> yeah, so. big money moves man <laughs> No, your tap is really flowing. You can say that again. If you, if you, if, you, if I have a tap, then you have an ocean. Oh, look, I'm down. You know you've I'm set down. a lot of standards <laughs> for me. I'm just trying to meet up the pace, you know. <laughs> no, I'm proud of you, kid, bro. Really, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, thank you. You know, I, I just drove straight to your house, and I thought you were going to be at home, so I oh. got your call before I came here, you know. That, that means you met her? Hmm? My woman. Or is she not home when you got there? I, I, I wouldn't know. I stopped at the gate when I saw your call, so I just rushed out. If I had known, I would have said hi to her. So. Oh, okay. Check. So that means you, you meet her next time, no? That wouldn't exactly be possible. I already booked a flight to Abuja by 4 pm today, so. Wait, you, you, you're traveling again today? Yes, I'll be going back to Canada. I already completed the arrangements. I need to be at Abuja so I can fly. You know, Canada, it's like 12 hours, so a lot of traveling and... Yeah, I get it. Tight schedule. Yeah, bro. Just the <laughs> life wow. of a hustler, bro. No, that, that's, that's good. That's what we're praying for, you know. Exactly. That's what we're praying for. Wow. Okay, no problems now. Uh, when are you coming back? Very soon, pretty Very soon. soon. I, I won't take long, just some okay. business deal, you know. <laughs> <They're odd. laughs> the okay, I, I hope you still have a um, few time. We could go for lunch or something. Why not? Why okay. not? How, how would I refuse this proposal from you? Calm down. <laughs> You're looking all chubby. Oh, oh, well, my girl is taking care of me. What I do I expect? <laughs> I can see. Okay, just, just hold it. Let me just send this send this mail to you. Sure, bro. Sure. So we can go. Someone wow. is cashing out greatly. Oh, oh, oh money. Oh money. Oh money. That's you, know? you right now though. <laughs> <laughs> oh money. Okay money, you know. Uh, You're doing fine, bro. I you too, I'm proud of you. Thank you, thank you. Have you called mom? Ah I wanted to surprise her as well. So okay. I'm pretty surprised. Alright, uh, let's go. Okay, not a lot has changed here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going Yeah, Jide, how are you? I'm oh, fine, sir. Uh, Oga, yeah, um, your brother been come the time way in day. But you know enter inside, though? Oh, yes, uh, I know. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Welcome, sir. How was your day today at the office? Well, 
Rivers phone and hectic. Hmm, interesting. I would like to hear about the phone part of it. Tell me about it. We and meanwhile, your brother was here earlier today. Oh yes, yes, I, he called me, so um, I told him to come see me at the office. Your brother was here, but he didn't come inside. Maybe he doesn't want to see me. Oh, no, my love, don't say that. You see, actually, when he came, he was about coming inside. The I called him to come to the office to see me. Oh. Yes. So why didn't he come here with you then? Because he, he got an urgent call uh, that he needs to be in Canada for some meeting like that. So he, he left for the airport uh, from my office. Oh, I see. Don't worry, you see him. You see him when he comes back. Okay? He's actually a sweet guy. Like you? Well, I wouldn't really say like me. I think more than me. I totally disagree with you, darling, because you are the best. As a matter of fact, no one is close to you when it comes to sweetness. <sighs> Wow, so finally someone um, <laughs> someone accorded me with some compliments, you know? Oh my goodness, don't tell me you were expecting that. Your head is big now, right? <laughs> Very big. <laughs> you come here. You are really sweet. So don't be so excited when I say so, right? Okay, darling, I want you to go in there, have your shower while I set the dining for us. <laughs> What did you prepare? What would you prefer? Anything sweet from you. I know. I know what you like. <laughs> Come here. Yes. Baby. You've been on your phone since. You're not even talking to me. I'm sorry, baby. I'm just trying to make a transfer, but... The network is bad. That can wait now. If his network is bad, you let it be. Okay? Those are the person needs the money now. Okay, fine. Gone. Done, done. Yeah. Um, yeah. My love. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to ask. You once said that. You changed your name to Chimamanda for a reason. In other words, you want to know about my story now? Exactly. Everything. Tell me everything mm. I need to know. Oh, it's quite long, but I have to begin from somewhere. Exactly. My growing up was fun. Really fun. My parents were well to do. They loved and pampered me so much. They made sure I lacked nothing as a child. They gave me everything I wanted. I mean, I was their only child for 13 years. I mean, that should tell you how much love they showered on me. But as time went on, people became so jealous. Hatred set in from both adults and children. Although I was still living in the dreamland, regardless, until the 3rd of July, 2010, a day I will always, always, Leave to regret. Good day. Anybody at home? Oh, yeah. I'm coming, bro. Come. Why are you crying? Where are your parents? Officer, what happened? Good day, sir. You must be Mr. Odewa. Yes, I am. What happened? Why is she crying? Well, Mr. Odewa, 
What I am about to tell you will be very painful. You have to take heart. Officer, stop beating about the bush. Please, what happened? There was an accident that happened on the highway that leads to this village. Accident? As we speak, the vehicle involved was badly crushed. Two persons have been confirmed dead. She is the only survivor. She gave us the address and directed us here. What? Do you mean to tell me that my brother and his wife is dead? Yes, sir. Please, you have to come with us to the federal <laughs> mortuary where the cops are being deposited. To identify them, sign the necessary documents before they will be released to you. No, 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 it can't be. This can't be, oh God, oh God. My brother, my only brother. Why me, God? Why? Why? So, this is how my brother-in-law and his wife just died like chicken. Just like that. Right. Eh? Hey. Okay, some mad. Eh? That one was a very kind man. Hey. You know I was surprised. When I saw two policemen with Obianuju in tears. The next thing I heard was that my brother, Obonna, and his wife were involved in a car accident. Hey. I went to the scene. I couldn't believe what my eyes saw. The car was badly crushed. Oh. And an eyewitness account states that the accident was strange. I knew it. Okay? Because this, this accident is not ordinary at all. Somebody must be behind us. It's, it's too strange. Of course, I'm serious. Somebody is behind it. That accident was controlled from the spiritual. Mm. Their death is not ordinary. And whoever did it is within us. Mm. It's not far fetched. Or never. Mm. Yes. No. <laughs> Are you suggesting that a family member or a relative is responsible for this? Mm. Of course, not some suggesting. I know. Eh? Mm. Then who? Who? Who Who else? This little witch. Little witch. If it's not a witch, how will she survive such accident? The accident happened. She flew out, killing her parents. You know, I was wondering how someone could come out from that badly crushed car unharmed. Whoa. You need to see this car. Whoa. Could it be <laughs> that Obianuju killed her parents? Could it be or nah, she killed her parents? I know. Okay, forget. Babila Musu. Ote? No problem. You've killed them now. Which? You are looking at us. You never know you. Okay? Then you kiss in our water. Little witch. Talking to you. Speak up now. Ah, but uncle, I don't know what you want me to say. Ah. I am confused. Hmm. Oh, yeah, hmm. You better be. Hmm. I said you better be.
died in a car accident. Yes. Yes. Mm. Ah. But it was not ordinary. She used them for a sacrifice in her coven. Hmm. What did she say? Hmm. Speak to me. I can hear you. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. She is very young, but she is spiritually strong and dangerous. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. She was not in the car when the accident happened. Afterwards, to make it look like it's a miracle. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Speak to me. Mm. Oh, Jesus, I can hear you. Fabiano, you had heard the great oh, prophet has said, oh. Speak up now. Oh. No, uncle, I can hear you. Mm. I didn't kill my mom and dad. Oh. and. I am not in any coven. She's lying against me. Shut up! How dare you? How dare you call me a liar? Do you want to challenge me? Do you know who I am? Udenwa? Say what you've caused. Why did you bring this little rat here to insult me? I am sorry, Prophetess. It will not happen again. I am sorry. Better! Or both of you will face my rot. Mm. Ah, speak to me. Mm. I can hear you. Thank you, great prophetess. What must I do to save myself and my family from her? Her, weaken her powers a bit. But you must bring her back in seven days' time for cleansing. Mm. Yes. Thank you. The cleansing will weaken her spirit. But you must watch her closely. Her parents over pampering her is the cause of all this. Mm. Don't let yourself to fall the same victim. Thank you, great prophetess. Mm. Now mm. just open my eyes. Mm. Leave! Leave now! There you go. Man, I'm wagging. I told you that I knew that that girl is evil. She killed her parents. That girl killed her parents. But nobody believed me when I said it. That is strange. Very, very strange. I am still in shock. How can that small girl be so wicked to the point of killing her parents? What will she gain from that? Oh, Power! Promotion, whatever you like, call it. You open again. Call it. And I'm sure this is the ultimate prize to get promotion and power from her evil kingdom. She sacrificed her parents. If she can do that, then who are we? Okay, hi, Bokwano. Oh, Bapuan Inaka. Anyway, the prophetess asked that we come in seven days for cleansing. Nine. Better. Better before she sacrificed all of us. Nay, I think we should send her out of this house after the cleansing. But can I ask you to send her out of this house after the cleansing? Eh? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do something about it.
So this is how my brother and his wife lost their lives. It is strange to think that their own daughter killed them is a hard pill to swallow. It is very, very strange. What a word. What a mystery. All I am saying is that I can't live in this house with this witch. I don't want to die the way her parents did. Her parents have sacrificed the marine kingdom. I don't want to die. People can take her to another place, but not step in this house. Mm -mm. No. I understand your point of view. But we cannot throw her away from her father's compound. Where do you want her to go? Enokwa. Take her to, now, to her maternal home now. Forget you couldn't near corner though. You know that her mother is an orphan. Who is she going to meet there? Like mother, like daughter. Who knows if it was her mother that killed her parents too? Eh? She wants to come and kill my family and I. She wants to make us the victim here. Nah. Remember, remember what the prophet has said though? Take this girl out of this house. Ah, uh -uh, victim. You know she won't be there. She did what she did because nobody knew her true identity then. She won't dare eat again. If she tries it, I will skim her alive. Sister, please, if I may come in, I think you should allow her to stay. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just lost her parents. Eh? And it would be very unfair for you to send her out of her own father's compound. And you know her father was a very good man. Very, very good man. Oh, you can do Then take her along with you, no? Take her to the city with you. Kagini Abileva. She can be selling gala and other things in the traffic if her evil man would allow her. Mm, no, sister, no, that one will not work. I'm very busy. My work will not allow that kind of arrangement. Eh? Okay, sister, see what will happen. Just allow her to stay with you for now. Maybe at some point I'll come and pick her. Hmm? To avoid people's mouth. You know, people talk, 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 talk. Mm -hmm. you know what? Hmm? Who cares? I don't care what people will say. When, when my life and the life of my family members are at stake, how could be that I don't care? What's what people will say? What is my business what, what people will no. say? No. No. Let her stay. We will keep an eye on her. She will never try any rubbish again. No. I am accepting this because my sons are in the boarding school. But warn her. Warn her. If anything should happen to my daughter or my sons when they come back from school, I will kill her myself. Mbonya. Don't worry. Don't worry. She will not try it again. I am here. Uncle, auntie, I didn't kill my parents. I am not a witch. I am innocent of all this accusation. God in heaven will bear me witness. I am not a witch. Come on, get out from this place also. Come on, get out. There's no witch in for God. Do you know God when you kill your parents? Eh? Do you know God when you kill your parents? I'm not a witch. Take her along with you. What kind of work do you do in the city itself? That work will not permit you to take her along with you. Awesome, awesome. Take time. Take time. Be a witch here. Be a witch here. Take your time in this house. You see this? Nine, nine, half a marker. Take along with you. Ibu Alpha and Omega Mo Papa. Good evening, sir. Ah. Sir, please, can you help me lift up the firewood on my head? What then with you? Can you be able to carry this firewood? Yes, I can carry it. Just that I can't lift it up. If you insist, I will help you. But I will advise you to divide it into two because of your health. Huh? Thank you very much for your concern. But I insist. I will help you, don't worry. Is it good? Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
Ça va quoi Il vous tout connaît du ma. Il vous tout connaît du papa. Enfin, il vous a un homme et Hi, Karim. This morning. Where did you go to? I want to gather for your wood as instructed. This morning. Since morning. Since you took a This morning you came back with you called this in fire wood. Where are you coming from? Where did you go? I didn't go to any other place except the bushes. If you like, tell me the truth. If you like, don't. I wasn't even expecting you to tell me the truth. Biko. Take this thing you call for your wood to the backyard that can fetch me water. Okay, now, now, yeah. Things go to other places. Okay, take it. Take it. I'm hungry. Is that a greeting? No, I'm hungry now. Yeah, so bad, though. Your food will soon be ready. You know, go. Eh, uh -huh. are you? Why is he standing here? Okay, take it. Take it. I want to go take it myself. Brother, honestly, I am enjoying this village. You are enjoying it. <laughs> I don't feel like going back to the city. Mm -hmm. oh. yes. Me too. I don't think I'm going back. Eh? Are I'm you serious? <laughs> I'm not going back. Oh my God, bro. What a beauty. You can say that again, bro. Let me talk to her. I, I trust you. Hi. Sorry, sorry for blocking your way, okay? I just need your attention. And my, my name is... Uh... I don't care who you are or what your name is. Let me pass. Whoa, you're being too harsh. Listen, we, we came back from the city to see our grandparents. Okay, listen, okay? We, we just want to be friends with you, okay? As you can see, I'm not interested. Don't say that. That girl is beautiful. I know you are angry at her behavior, but that girl is very beautiful. And am I not handsome? You are, but believe me, eh? we will meet her again. Or better still, there are so many beautiful girls in this village. Now, I'm going to have a one open. Have a one My nigga. <laughs> My brother. You can work here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Me. He was actually asking me a question. Yeah, I was the person that helped her with fire wood the other day while she was coming back from the. Uh -huh. so what's my terrible. business? Can you go to Bassam? So this is why you killed your parents, okay? Yes. So that you can roam about the village. You can sleep with all these dirty, stinking village boys, okay? Hey. Instead of Mazo Kono, Mazo Mbamba Diwe. So me I want, I don't need that. Eh? I'm only about one hour there. So this is what you do up here. You so bad, bro. Ona, I cut the ungwa. Ona. Ona. You see you? Hey. No wonder. This is what this girl has been passing through. All is well.
Again, I want to appreciate to let my family this house, okay? Would you give one? Okay. Shh. What's this? Hey, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Nice. Hey, hey. Nice. 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 If we this your cousin, I met her in the bush with one of her boyfriends. What? Do you watch she knows how to do best?